Hello. Good morning. Good day. Happy day. So today we are looking at the 1997 BMW M3. Uh, a couple weeks ago I had 1,015 downloads, 72 likes, 1,563 uses. It's a good number. It's a really, really good number. So um, we'll see if that uh, improved. Um, so let's get right into it and let's see if that did improve. Beautiful. Let's have a nice uh, listen to it first. She's mean. She's a mean one. Oh yeah, we're doing that thing. All that cool stuff. Manual, nice. M3 posted pretty much everywhere. Very, very nice. Ooh, look at that graphics. Very pretty. I see a roll cage too. Does that do anything better? Very pretty. I just love uh, uh, doing that, especially when the video uploads and you can see everything um, in in high definition. So you can just like look at the paint, see how pretty it looks. Look at that, the rims. This is today's graphics. I mean, hey, who knows what tomorrow's graphics are going to be like. How, how smooth they're going to be and how they're just going to be like picture perfect to the real thing. It's unreal. So uh, let's go right into um, the tune here. It's the Easy Top Drifter. I made it in 2014, in February of 2014. Um, I have 1,130 downloads, 79 likes, and 1,808 uses. It says in the description, best all-wheel drive drift tune I've made. I'm pretty sure I've made a few better ones since that time. But 917 horsepower, 627 pounds of torque, meaning it has the 5.2 liter V10. Probably. I'm guessing. I'm right. 5.2 liter V10. No. The original engine only had 321 horsepower with 258 pounds of torque, and it was lighter. So, it got a little heavier. And of course, you want all-wheel drive with a twin turbo. Lots of power. Alright, non-adjustable because there's no body kits for this. Um, I did take off the rear spoiler just to save weight and I didn't need it. And it looks good without it. So, I mean, it looks good with it, but, you know, nobody's complaining. Stock tires, medium um, width for the front, and, and stock for the rear. So you see it's 245 for the rear, 245 for the front. So I, I even them up. Okay, what rims did I go for? Daylights. Daylight. Na 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 na. I don't know if that's the right song. 20s in the front. In 20s in the rear. Alright, race clutch, race transmission, race drive line, race differential, race brakes, race springs, no race, no race, race, a race, uh, 
roll cage in this one, so I did do it. Uh, of course, I could have went with this and, and saved a few more um, pounds, but I was looking at my handling, acceleration, and braking, and uh, that helped. So with, with that amount of horsepower, it helped. So everything in here is all in race mode, okay? This clutch, this uh, flywheel clutch, flywheel um, is also in race. So everything's in race. Uh, let's go right to the tune, show you guys what I did to it. The reason why I'm showing this tune is because it's a popular one. I know a lot of people who watch my videos, and the people that don't watch my videos that don't even know about me probably use this car. And so when they do come in and find the car, like, he has the tune for it. Well, here it is for you. I'm so nice to take out of my time, out of my day, to show you guys these tunes um, to help you. So hopefully you guys are super appreciative of it. Of it. Yeah. And there's also the people who like to steal my tunes, and I, I can't really do anything about that. But uh, they just take it for themselves and just start sharing them themselves and saying, yeah, I tuned it myself. But back in their mind, they know that it was me. And then they'll just, they'll probably be the ones that, you know, if someone messages them and says, hey, can you make a tune for this car? And the tune doesn't work that they have. They're probably going to message me and say, hey, can you show this car? So then they can copy it and then give it to the person. I've seen that happen before. I've heard about it. You know, they're like, it's funny. This, this kid tunes exactly like yours. Yeah, it's probably because he stole it from me. You know, how nice of people. But hey, the tunes are there for you guys to see what I've done. Um, to put it on your own car. Uh, don't share unless you're, you know, you ask first. If it's exactly it, please don't share. That, that's kind of rude um, on your part to, to steal. Um, it is still considered stealing. Uh, so, uh, yeah. But I'm sure you guys don't do that because you are all little angels. So let's take this out and see what it can do. I drifted way out there, but that's okay. It really was just to show you the point start way back there. Very beautiful. Very, very beautiful. Well, it took some points away from me, but at least it took it from there. I can deal with that. I'm just using brakes really just to uh, turn it from left to right. The brakes are set perfect for it. And there's a 20. So let's see what we got out of that. That car dies to semi straight. 65,000. See? And it didn't drive. It does pull a little bit when you're on it, but it stays, you know, somewhat there. So, 65,000. Not bad. 
So, I hope you guys enjoyed this short video. It's a great car and I highly recommend you trying it. Um, so, hey, if you guys liked the video, please hit that like button. If you are new to it, subscribe. I usually don't bicker and complain, but um, I just figured I'd just uh, throw some facts out there. Uh, hey, thanks for watching. I'm King Posh. If you guys would like to see some more cars, please put them in the comments below. I have a whole list in front of me, so I'm going to show the best that I can for the next couple of months still. Um, I still have one more BMW to do today. Um, and then I've got some things to do around the house. And then tomorrow we'll be back up to show um, my Bugatti Veyron and the Buick and um, the limo. Yep, so. Alright, you guys. Later. I'll give you guys a couple of seconds to look at this car. Ooh. Very pretty.